let's work a couple more examples of use solving for proportions and this time we're going to be dealing with um, some pretty complex looking things but overall this is still a proportion we still have uh, this fraction is supposedly equal to this fraction and we need to figure out what this unknown amount is here that would actually make those things be equivalent so here's where our cross product technique is really going to come in handy so we're going to multiply uh, the cross product here would be x times 1 is supposed to equal this cross product which is 3 tenths times 2 and 2 ninths alright now as you're working through these problems do not get too far ahead of yourself do exactly what you've done on every one of the other problems work out look at your cross product and then do whatever you need to do from there so for instance looking here at the left hand side we have x times 1 well if you'll remember from our multiplication sections when we talked about multiplying by 1 1 is the identity under multiplication so anytime you multiply by 1 it doesn't change anything x times 1 is x equals here we are multiplying but this is a fraction and a mixed number now we know from our um, fraction sections that we don't multiply things this way we need to change this mixed number into an improper fraction so this would be 3 tenths times and 2 and 2 ninths we could change by multiplying and then adding the numerator so that would be 18 19 20 over 9 now at each step of the way stop and reevaluate what you're doing and let it tell you where to go next now we're just multiplying fractions and so just go with your multiplying fractions rules we can cancel out common factors to begin with to make it a little bit easier so 3 will go into 3 one time 3 will go into 9 three times um, uh, for our other numerator and denominator 10 will go into 10 one time and 10 will go into 22 times so that multiplication ends up as two-thirds that tells us that our X is two-thirds for the next problem again we've got a proportion and we've got to solve for this unknown amount figure out what it is so we're going to use our cross product we're going to multiply one half times 0.8 and that's supposed to equal x times 2 so now here again we can go ahead and we can figure out what this is um, you can even use your calculator if you want to to figure this out you can say 1 divided by 2 and then multiply that to 0.8 you should get 0.4 equals x times 2 and now again we don't want x times 2 we want x so you can either look at it as dividing to go backwards or you could say let's divide both sides by 2 because 2 will cancel here and leave us with just an x on the right hand side and now over here on the left we can do 0.4 divided by 2 you can do that on your calculator if you need to which would be 0.2 now remember again if you didn't want to look at it this way you could have said if we have 0.4 is equal to x times 2 then that's the same thing as saying 0.4 divided by 2 equals x and we would have gotten the exact same thing because it is the same exact procedure I just kind of prefer to have it look like this but whatever you it, you feel more comfortable with is fine but our final answer here is point two.